Hey everybody, it's Paul from Cary State Planning back again with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. Today we're continuing on our theme of Quora.com, estate planning questions and answers. Today's question is, is a revocable trust a good idea in a reverse mortgage? I'll probably paraphrase that to say, you know, what are the implications of a reverse mortgage with a property owned by a revocable trust? Generally speaking, it could end up in a, in a better posture um, for the beneficiaries than had the home not been in trust. Because in North Carolina, you can't sell uh, decedent property for two years unless you open probate and run the notice to creditors to shorten that timeline. That ends up delaying the ability of the beneficiaries to sell the property after the death of the owner. Generally, the way that a reverse mortgage works is that the reverse mortgage uh, can, uh, or the mortgage company, the bank, can uh, have a loan worth up to 95% of the equity of the home. The way that they get paid is by either foreclosing their interest in the home or being satisfied through sale proceeds if the beneficiaries sell the home instead. So if the house is in trust, the beneficiaries through the trust's trustee could sell the home quicker and resolve the debt faster than if probate were, need, were needed to be opened. Uh, so that sort of transaction could happen without the need for probate at all. So a trust could be beneficial if a uh, homeowner has a reverse mortgage on their property. This is Paul from Cary Estate Planning.